Welcome to Lex's World. Today I wanted to briefly touch on light cycles, timers, and how bad is it when you experience a blackout in your grow. So first, what are the different light cycles? Well, you know from my prior videos that cannabis starts out in the germination phase and moves through the vegetative and flowering phases. If you're growing weed outdoors or using auto-flowering seeds, controlling the light cycle is a non-issue. But for the rest of you, it's important to know that until your plants reach their flowering phase, they need about 18 hours of light and 6 hours of darkness each day also known as the 18-6 cycle. When they reach flowering, they now need 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness, known as the 12-12 cycle. To control these cycles without having to run into your grow room constantly, you need a 24-hour timer. This is a pretty basic one right here that's just got a couple of outlets. These timers are great and easy to use. I'll link to some in the description, but you can really get them anywhere. Uh, most indoor growers use a timer just like this. There's bigger ones too. There's timer power bars that have uh, this exact circular timer, but with about 6 or 12 outlets. There's even industrial capacity timers that have uh, room for 20 plugins or 40 plugins. The important thing is not to buy a cheap no name one. These things work all day long, and you don't want a crappy timer that fails on you. But you grow for long enough in a small personal grow type setting and sooner or later it will fail or your bulb will fail you will have an accidental blackout the question growers tend to have is what are the consequences if this happens well usually there's no need to panic if your light cycle got messed up for only 24 to 48 hours don't sweat it it's not good but your plants will be fine some growers even do things like short-term blackouts on purpose for various reasons. However, getting your light or timer back up and running is very urgent. If the blackout goes on for more than 48 hours, you are looking at some pretty serious plant stress, which can make your plant a hermaphrodite, make it sick, or lower your final yield. And the earlier plant stress happens, the worse the consequences. Still, I wouldn't scrap the whole grow unless you made a long-term screw-up, like a four or five day long blackout, which shouldn't happen even to a soil grower who may not check the room as often. Well guys, that's my two cents on timers and blackouts. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. See you guys.